I'm making a difference. I am making a difference. J'agis pour un monde meilleur. I am making a difference. 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 My name is Uraya Ipugeni. I am from Zimbabwe and I work for the Mennonite Central Committee. I am making a difference by working towards the achievement of Millennium Development Goal number one, ending extreme poverty and hunger. With Christian Care Zimbabwe, I worked as the Regional Emergency Coordinator and I was implementing projects that were being supported by the Canadian Food Grants Bank through the member agents United Church of Canada. Working for Christian Care Zimbabwe gave me an opportunity to make a difference in achieving Millennium Development Goal number one in that I was responsible for food assistance projects which basically were a vehicle through which the communities that were food, in, food insecure in Zimbabwe received the much needed food according to the sphere minimum standards in which we gave food rations that met the minimum standard of 2,100 kilocalories a day. Through this project, uh, through my work with Christian Care, I was also able to provide extension services to small-scale farmers through promoting a farming technology popularly known as conservation farming in Zimbabwe. Through this farming technology, I was basically helping farmers to produce more on smaller pieces of land through very good crop management practices and also by emphasizing on less wastage when it comes to the application of uh, agricultural inputs. So I am so excited that I contributed to this Millennium Development Goal uh, by helping these farmers by helping these farmers not only get food in their plates but by also helping these farmers produce food for themselves. So it was more like giving these farmers food in their plate so that they can regain energy and then giving them a fishing rod and asking them to go and fish for themselves. One more exciting development uh, during my work with Christian Care was that during that time Canada untied food aid and by untying food aid this means Canada allowed all the funding organizations that were implementing food aid projects globally to source food from the local markets or closer to the people who are food insecure. The reason why this was exciting was because then all the projects that we were doing, all the food assistance projects that we were doing were now not only aiming at just putting food in the plate of these poor communities, but these projects were also now supporting the local markets. And again, in a way they created a lot of employment which again is a contribution towards ending global poverty. For example, if a farmer was holding, if a, house, if a family was holding a plate of food that they have received from the Canadian Food Grants Bank, which is of course getting funding from the government through CEDA, that plate of food signifies a life-saving uh, commodity, a life-saving product that every person needs for them to survive food. At the same time, where has, this been, where has this food been sourced? This food has been purchased from the local farmers in the region. And these local farmers in the region are farmers who possibly were not going to be able to break the global markets for them to be able to sell their produce. I think that ending poverty and hunger is so important to our world because um, honestly a world that is very poor and a world with hungry people is definitely a world that cannot progress. It's a world that cannot move forward. Some people in my country have a say which says a hungry man is an angry man. For sure if you don't have adequate food to eat and for sure if you know that you don't know what you are going to eat the next day tomorrow, you are an angry man. And it's very difficult for you to be really productive. Now let's, talk for ex let's take for example malnutrition rates in Africa. You, globally, the United Nations is estimating that about over 2 billion people are malnourished. And if we are not going to all work towards uh, trying to end hunger and poverty, then it means we are going to have more people who are dying because of malnutrition. So from my point of view, this Millennium Development Goal 
is very, very important because it, it addresses the essentials, the basics, that which makes every other person be productive in whatever they are doing. And this could be because they had a meal a day. One more important thing that I will uh, say it's important for us to address this is that for every other person, what gives you dignity is the ability to feed yourself and to feed your family. So if every person can have that ability, then it follows next that they can be citizens who can participate in construct in the rebuilding of their economy or their communities with dignity and pride. My name is Vurayai Pugeni and I am making a difference.